Hey guys, Dirk here from Addictive Tips. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the screen sharing feature in Ubuntu. So to start off, I have an Ubuntu virtual machine open, which we will be using to access with the remote desktop client here over VNC because the screen sharing is done through the VNC protocol. So to start off, let's go to the VM and we can set up sharing. So to do that, we need to open up settings and once we're in settings, we can go to sharing like here, click this button here and then click on screen sharing, click this button and it will enable it. So if you click on screen sharing, you will see VNC Derek dash virtualbox dot local. Don't need the dot local. And in my experience for the remote desktop client, it actually doesn't work very well if you use the dot local. So just omit this and just use this here. So to connect and I will close all this, I can do Derek dash virtual box and it will start a connection and uh, there may be a notification that comes up I've already used it to connect before so it may not ask me but uh, if you do a connection for the first time you will see a notification pop up that says um, do you want to share the screen so if you're sharing from a desktop maybe you're accessing it on a laptop on a network you need to go to the shared computer and accept it and here we go so click accept and that will allow us to connect. And now we see the VirtualBox connection. Now I know this looks gross because the quality is bad, but that's not a that's not the feature doing that. It's the app. So click on here. Now as you can see, it says poor. Now this will just give you a faster connection, but it looks bad. So click the gear icon and you can set it to best. And now best will make it look much nicer. Now if you have a slow network connection, I would recommend setting it to good or medium but since this is just running on the same computer sharing the same network card just for the sake of demonstration and how it works that's what you can do you cannot you can click full screen and then you have access to the computer full screen and you can do anything you want to do on this remote computer as if you're sitting right in front of it and uh, so this comes in handy for me sometimes if I'm in my bedroom with my laptop and I need to access something on my desktop I can just VNC into it you can also set up this VNC server over the internet so if you have the right ports set up and maybe we'll cover that in a future video. You can actually access it remotely over the internet and uh, log in. It's all very cool and best of all it's free so it doesn't cost any money to set up because it's just using the existing Linux technology that's out there. So that is how you use that. If you want to disconnect you can go and you can access out of exit out of full screen and you can just close the tab and uh, close the app I mean. And that will close it and uh, now I just have the VNC server itself running so that's how that works now if you want to disable sharing which I didn't cover in the article but I can show you really quick just open up settings once again and go to sharing and just click the button here and that will disable the screen sharing server and no one can access it anymore I hope you guys enjoyed this video the screen sharing feature isn't new to Ubuntu but it's something that I really like and it comes in handy for me. I hope you guys find it handy as well. And I will see you in the next video.